So I had a video that was supposed to be coming out talking about how I'm entering my season of isolation and going to really start, you know, building my relationship with God. And I had a couple videos lined up that would be coming after that. And one thing that I've been like really contemplating is whether or not I'm doing this for myself or am I doing this for God, you know? And, you know, I've been praying about it. Let me be honest. I think I prayed about it maybe once or twice. Right. When I thought about it, when it came to my head. But I prayed about it and I need to pray about it more. I was so used to like making these videos just for me. You know what I mean? You get the attention, you get the comments and it boosts your ego in a way and it makes you feel good. You know, obviously I feel good that I'm helping people, but it just makes me feel like, all right, I'm doing something you know, with a purpose. And right now in my life, I'm just trying to make sure that when I do these things, I'm doing it with right with the right intention because I don't want to end up doing something, you know what I mean, for, for years or, or think that I'm preaching a word or spreading the word of God for years and think, that it's good, that it's coming, or that I'm doing it for God, right? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be doing it for years, thinking that I'm doing it for God when in actuality I'm doing it for me, right? And I saw this video of this pastor that got to the end of his life. Say he passed away. He said he saw God. And God basically told him, you're not, you're not coming to heaven. And the pastor was like, yo, I did all this preaching. I, I did this. I did that. I did this. And he said, I, I called you, Lord. And God was like, you were worshiping a false God. A false God. false God was himself you know and coming from the new age coming from this new age idea that yourself is God right that you're supposed to reach this higher consciousness to become the purest form of yourself so you could truly know yourself And those, for the past years, I've just been doing stuff for myself. Trying to evolve myself for myself, for things here on earth. That don't matter at the end of the day. Sometimes I wish that I, I, I missed the times before I started learning about all this new age stuff. When I was just a Christian, a little, little young boy. I remember I was about eight, maybe 10. And my house used to get robbed a lot. And obviously that would affect anybody, right? I remember my mom coming home, crying. She said, they took your, your Xbox, your PSP, your TV, your shoes. And the little Christian boy looked back at his mom and said, mom, those are just material things. Don't worry about it. I did not shed one tear.
could I say the same now? I guess right now in my life, I'm looking to get back there. Because that little boy wanted to be a preacher. This man is afraid. He's afraid because he doesn't want to end up doing anything in vain. He wants to please God, but he's so used to pleasing himself and he's trying, he's working, you know. Sometimes I look at all these different pastors out here and stuff like that and you see them, they got these big churches, bunch of lights and they come out and it's about them. People go there for them. I want to be Christian first before anything. I want to be Christian first before anything. What do you do for a living? I'm a Christian. Where do you sleep? How big is your house? I'm a Christian. It has to be the number one thing for me. I'm not saying that that's how I'll answer these questions, but It has to become my identity. Like how before my identity was rooted in new age occult practices. Because anybody talked to me back then, I was confident about what I was talking about. I was so sure, yes. You, you have another life. You could end up as a roach, a cow, a woman, a man. I was confident. This man right here is afraid. I ain't scared to admit that. I don't want to be putting the message out there when mentally, right? I know that I'm all in for God, but mentally, part of me wants to take that shine. Oh, the light went out, my bad, y'all. How does it work? Okay, there we go. Part of me wants to take that shine. Oh, ain't that crazy how I said part of me wants to take that shine and the light shut off? Because it's not my shine to take. All the glory has to be to God. You know. And I'm, I'm starting to make a little bit of money now from YouTube. And I want to make sure that I use it towards good things in life. And putting back into the channel. So, you know, we could grow bigger i never want to like ask people for anything i always want people like if they want to give me anything they give it to god they go out and give it to the homeless you know that's what we gotta do because i know i'm gonna be good you know what i mean i know i'm gonna be good at my work and all that different types of stuff this here i just want to give it to god i want to do it for god and i can't do it for god if i'm thinking about the response I'm going to get and how it's going to make me feel, how it's going to make my ego feel, if it's going to boost me or not. 
I don't want to do anything that'll upset my father. So I'm gonna pray on it. I'm mean, you might not see much videos right now. As I work, you know, and do the things that I need to do. Cause in my heart, you know, I know I'm not ready. I wanna be. But I wanna make sure it's coming from the right place. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time. I appreciate y'all for watching, supporting, and being here. Um, I hope y'all have a great new year. And if you are somebody that's like me, ask yourself, are you doing this for yourself or are you doing it for God? All right, I'm going to highlight you.